Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott, Independent Demonstrator in Nova Scotia, Canada. Today I'm going to use, uh, for the first time, sweet little stockings. Um, I'm also going to use the coordinating dies. These are the stocking dies. And then my sentiment is going to come from uh, Christmas to Remember. And these are all upcoming products that will be live on August. August. Uh, yeah, August 3rd in the new upcoming mini catalog. Um, if you're a demonstrator, you are able to uh, order early. So I have my pieces prepped. Um, it's going to be a really simple card. Um, the DSP came from um, Celebration Paper. I can't show you the inside of the catalog, but um, August 3rd to September 30th, um, every $60 Canadian order, you can earn free products. And the paper is called, I'll just quickly find it here, it's the Peaceful Prints 12x12 Designer Series Paper. So you get 12 sheets, two of each, six double-sided designs, and it's really, really gorgeous paper. Um, I liked it so much that I ordered two packs of it. Um, so I have my pieces prepped. We're going to do a little bit of coloring. I have a Sahara sand car base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. A piece of basic white, four by five and a quarter. I took um, the die from the stocking set and I cut out um, this kind of, I don't know, triangular this one here cut that one out and then I took a piece of uh, basic black and I ran it through my tasteful textiles um, embossing folder and this is four by five and a quarter and then I took two pieces of the DSP and I cut them to uh, 3.75 by 5 and then I cut them each in half because I want one side to have that and the other side to have that and then I took basic white and the DSP and I cut out a, a stocking and I'm just gonna layer this up because I'm gonna pop up my sock and then I just stamped and die cut out the little puppy dog I'm gonna color him in and then I did basic white I'm gonna add those to my sock and then for my sentiment, I just cut a strip of a three-quarter inch high of the basic white. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment in garden green. Because that's the color of green that is in my DSP. And this is my first time using this stamp. And I think I need to re-ink my ink pad, so I will do that and be right back. Okay, so I re-inked my ink pad. I love this Merry Christmas. And I'm going to use my Banner's Pick-A-Punch because I looked for a label die that would fit this and I don't have one, so. Isn't that cute? Kind of scripty. I mean, there's some really cute sentiments in the stamp set that goes with the, the cat and dog, but I think I just want a generic um, Merry Christmas sentiment. So I'm just going to grab my banners, pick a punch, and I'm just going to flag this, and... I think on this end, I'm going to do, I'm going to make it like an arrow. I changed my mind. So I was getting ready to film this video. And my dog has been driving me bonkers, wanting in, wanting out, wanting in, wanting out. Which he does a lot this time of year when it's warm outside. So I just let him out and I left the back door open. Well, a chipmunk came running into my house 
and my dog got a hold of it and I couldn't get him to let go of it and unfortunately he killed the poor little chipmunk so I'm kind of still a little traumatized and my husband's at work so oh, I tried to get him to let go of it but he wouldn't and I'm feeling a little sad about it <laughs> poor little guy they had buried a little hole under under our back steps so we have a family of chipmunks yeah living in our backyard but I learned my lesson no more of just leaving my back door open because I'm pretty sure if the chipmunk if he had seen the chipmunk outside it, it, it would have got away but my dog had cornered him in the in the bathroom downstairs and he had nowhere to, to escape Oh, I feel so bad. Okay, so I think I'm just going to set this aside. And I'm going to bring in my little dog. And I think I'm just going to color him in light and dark um, crumb cake. And I've never colored this little doggy before, so I'm not sure. But I think I want light crumb cake around his eyes. And I'm going to do dark crumb cake on his paws and his ears and we'll see how that goes and I'll just do a little bit of blending with the same colors and again I keep my coloring pretty simple So I'm just going to go in with the light again and just shade where I want it a little bit darker instead of going in with the dark because I think that'll be too dark. So well, That brush tip looks really funny. I don't, yeah. I didn't use much of my Stampin' Up blends. Okay, so I'm just gonna come down here. And like I don't I don't have a collar on my dog when he's in the house so I had no way to grab him I, I grabbed him by the scruff of the neck but he wouldn't let go Ugh, I just can't get that image out of my mind okay I don't think I'm gonna do too much more to him maybe just come in with a little bit more light just uh and there he's pretty much done cute okay so now i pretty much got all my bits together i'm thinking i might want to do a little something to the sentiment though um let's see what we have so we have some little dotage in the merriest moment stamp set. So maybe I'll just add that to a block and then take Sahara sand because we have Sahara sand in the DSP and I'll just add a little bit of dotage to my sentiment. And I'm just gonna see if I wanna stamp off first, which I think I do because I don't want it I just want a little bit of something fate in the background. And I think that looks pretty good. I might even bring in, let me see. I have my daubers. I think I want to ink the edges. with a little bit of the uh, 
Sahara sand. So my edges are a little stark here. I love my little daubers. They work so good. Okay, so that's that. We can get that out of the way. And we have trees in our DSP, so I think for the inside, I might stamp a little bit of um, these sprigs. Let me just grab another block here. Bring back my scrap paper. And I'll use garden green because that's what I used on the front of the card. And I'm going to have it like coming down the page. I'm going to stamp off. And that's all I'm going to do for the inside. That's it. So I can glue that in. I love, love, love this new upcoming catalog. They did such a good job. I didn't think I was going to order anything else, but I think I probably will. And I've done pretty good at my last two farmer's markets, so... All the money I make at my shows, besides materials, pays for my Stampin' Up! orders, so... That's always good. So I think I'll put the red on the right-hand side and the Sahara Sand on the left-hand side. This paper is so gorgeous. Love it. I love the colors. Well, you can't go wrong with plaid and gingham. And this, I thought I would put right in the center. You could also use this as like a tag, Christmas tag. But I like that side too, but I want the trees. I want the trees. Do I want to pop my sentiment up? Let's just get the sock put together first. 
And there are stamped, like you can stamp the sock, but I want it just to cut out the sock and the DSP. Because I find the DSP on its own, it's just not sturdy enough, so. I like to layer up my die cuts. And then we'll add the little heel and toe, which is so cute. Oh, I need my tweezers. Oops, come on. And with the Tomball, you have a little bit of wiggle room, which is always good. Like, how cute is that? And, I don't know, maybe I do want to slant that. We'll see. Because then I can kind of pop my sock up. Or do I want it straight? Maybe we'll just do it straight. Cause I could pop that up and then just kind of, yeah, let's pop it up. I'll grab my dimensionals here. So I just want to thank everybody who watches my videos and who has subscribed to my channel. Um, I really appreciate it. Oops. And if you know anybody who would like to watch, share my video or, you know, I would love to have more people follow me. Oops. Okay, so... And that looks pretty straight. So I think I will put some dimensionals and leave no dimensionals on the bottom because that's going to overlap. Well, maybe I'll just do one more right here. This sock is so cute. Okay, so right about there like that. And then I'm gonna, of course, pop up my little puppy dog. So I'll put, um, and he can go like that. How stinking cute is that? Whoops, better get down and frame here. Now I feel like it just needs a little something else, so I'm gonna add some embellishments. So we have and I'm thinking the matte black dots. I think that would look nice. I'm going to have to get some more, um, like, Christmas embellishments, I think. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I forgot to turn my phone off. Let's see if I can... Okay. Sorry about that. Um, and we just have this two different sizes, so... I'm going to do a 
big one here and two little ones. So do one there. And I like to do like kind of in a triangle. Okay. And there is, there is the card. I just kept it super simple. I didn't want to go too crazy. But isn't that cute? I love him. Maybe I'll just add a little bit of Wink of Stella just to my... my socks on my card there we go just add a little bit of sparkle you probably can't see super super cute thank you for watching have a great day everybody bye